What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back in Oklahoma and we're back to the Copart walkarounds again. Let's jump into this one with number one on my list, a very slightly damaged 2019 Hyundai Sonata with 41,000 miles on the odometer, beautiful white color. I think it's a very nice looking car. As you guys already know, I love my Hyundais, Sonatas, uh, Kias as well, Kia Forte, the Kia Optima, the Hyundai Sonata, the Hyundai Elantra. I really like these cars. Now, I knew about this damage up front. I wanted to take a closer look at it, see just how bad is it. What I didn't see was the damage in the back. So let's take a look. Okay, the bumper is shot, no big deal. Inner fender liner probably needs to be replaced. It might be savable. The fender is damaged. There's some damage to the wheel here, and it looks like the wheel took a direct hit and pushed it. And so you can have a little bit of suspension damage there as well. The hood, well, there's a little crack in the paint there. Honestly, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Everything else looks good. The lines look good. Pillar lines, hood lines, everything looks really good. The headlight, still intact. So worst case scenario, a bumper, a fender, a little bit of suspension work. But I want to see what's going on with the back. And this is a very, very nice, shiny paint. I mean, heavy metallics in this paint. This I did not see. Uh, I think this may have just come off. This might have just got caught with a fork and pulled it off. And again, maybe not. It looks like it's a little contorted right here. Like maybe she took a, a light hit in the back right here. Yeah, see the marks here? This is bent down a little bit. Yeah, she took a little bit of a hit in the back as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a scuff mark there. Not a big deal. I don't think that's a huge deal. I really don't. Let's take a look at the lines. Looks really good coming down. Looks good around here. Looks good over here as well. Everything lines up great. So I don't even think you need to worry about replacing the bumper. Just clean it up, pop that back in. It's hard to believe this is totaled. Um, maybe there's some type of airbag deployment or seatbelt pretensioners. I, I, I don't know. No. Airbags? No. Seat bags? No. Okay. This one's bizarre. I don't see if it's listed as a run and drive either. It doesn't have, doesn't have anything there, so. Guess we'll just have to hop in and see for ourselves. Yeah, there's there's no bags blown. The key was left on. I hate when people do this. I really, they do it on purpose. They do. They come out here and they leave the key on to kill the battery, so you can't check it out. It's a good looking car. It smells a little off. Just a little. I don't know what that is. It does smell a little. Ugh. That's okay. We have a jump pack, we can fire it up, not a problem. We'll charge the battery up and hopefully it'll be good and charged for the next person that wants to come look at it. And we will have foiled the person's plans to uh, keep people from being able to check this car out for themselves. I just, I just hate that, you know. Keep it fair, guys, please. It, it's just, it's unnecessary. What are you trying to save a few dollars? <laughs> like you trying to save a few dollars because uh, someone can't come out here and verify that it runs? Come on, man. That's, that's, it's ridiculous. But anyway, override, give her the juice. There we go. She guess she'll fire up now. I guarantee it. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, not a problem. <laughs> Not a wait a minute. That steering feels well. I don't know. I've been used to driving a 73 Plymouth, so maybe this feels normal. This steering feels super light, though. Super light, low fuel, traction control light, reverse. Yeah. Drive. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's why it feels super light. Something's broken under there. I can feel it. It's broken bad. 
seats on that right front. This wheel's turned all the way out to the driver's side. This one, however, oh, it is too. I'm telling you, I feel something under here that is broken. I do. Let's take it. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's something broken in there, all right? Have a look at that. Yeah, the knuckle is broken. Struts probably bent too. That control arm is going to be toast as well. Not a big deal though, guys. Unless there's something that I'm missing. That's not a big deal. A little bit of suspension work. A little bit of body work. Nothing serious. I still find it hard to believe that this thing was totaled for such minor repairs. You can see how this strut is sitting. Nice and centered. Then you come over here and take a look at this one. And you can see this one is pushed way up to the front. Not centered at all. You got a little bit of damage on there. Not a big deal, guys. Not a big deal. I would, uh, I would jump on this in a heartbeat. This is an easy one. An easy one. A good car, too. Great car. Low miles. Fairly new. 2019. She's got a lot of life in her, guys. Let's move on to the next one. Next, the 2019 Subaru WRX. Yeah. Nice tinted windows. They even tinted the windshield on this. I don't see that very often. That's that's actually pretty rare. It's got some rear end damage. Wanted to take a closer look at it. It says run and drive. Then it says no key, but then it says D for drive. Not entirely sure what happened there. Maybe it didn't have a key, but now it does. So it's got 43,000 miles on it. And boy, did she take, she took a nasty hit back here, guys. Obviously the door, not a big deal. Back here though, a little bigger deal. <laughs> it got into the rocker, it got into the dog leg, it got into the quarter panel. This one's gonna be, this is gonna be a little, little bigger deal. Too bad, it's too bad it goes all the way back here. It really is, obviously suspension damage as well. You gotta take that into consideration. I'm sure the door doesn't open. Yeah, that's, that's a no-go. Oh, she's a manual transmission. Maybe all WRXs are. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. These aren't uh, these aren't my type of cars. They're too new for me. Let's see. All right. Let's turn that down. She fired right up. Oh, she sounds good. Ooh. Well, she runs. That's for sure. Man. I like these gauges. I really do. This is nice. This is nice. Let's give her a little rev. Oh man, I like this. I like this. Well, you won't be driving this one home. Not with that suspension damage, but dang it. Uh, it's, it's buckled up here too. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of damage back there, man. There really is. You got a Borla exhaust. It sounds right, man. It does. Just that one, that one section over there looks really, really bad. The rest of this car is super, super clean. Listen to her purr. What a beautiful machine. I want this. I really do. I really do. Uh, man. This is a great car. I'll bet this thing is a lot of fun. I'll bet it is a lot of fun. Interior is very, very clean on this car. Someone was taking care of it. You know, in 40,000 miles, someone's either going to have their car looking nice or it's going to get really filthy. You know, depending on the type of person, man. Some people, they just keep their cars clean. Other people, ooh. This is someone that really, they really took pride in this car. They kept it really, really nice. I love the tinted windows. Not such a big fan of the tinted windshield, though. I mean, it's illegal. You get pulled over, they'll make you pull it off anyway. 
Can we open this door from inside? Yes. All right. So we can exam. Oh. Yeah. This way you can examine this a little bit better. See how crushed it is right in here. And it's just, it's all kinds of contorted, man. Yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty rough. That is pretty rough. Well, the B pillar looks all right, though. I don't think we got into the B pillar at all. So that's kind of a blessing right there. Yeah, B pillar looks good. Rocker looks good all the way over here. So everything else is good. It's just right here, guys. Right here. And this whole section back in the back here in fact this looks this looks very similar now that i, th I can't believe, i just watched a video from swamp boys garage yesterday on a toyota they're doing and it looks just like this it, it looks very theirs is a little more gnarly down here than this but it's the same principle they're gonna have to cut it somewhere over there and somewhere over here and weld in a new uh a new piece this one just goes a little further back but very similar Swamp Boys Garage there. So if you don't know who Swamp Boys Garage is, I'm going to put a link to him down below. It's a father and son that are out there tearing into these cars, man. They're starting from scratch. They don't know anything about this stuff. They're jumping right into body work and mechanical work. I found their videos very entertaining. I really do enjoy them. And uh, it's not often you see a father and son combo out there doing stuff like this anymore, you know. So it's great content, I promise you. If you go over there and check them out, you'll enjoy them uh, just as much as I did. Reverse lockout. Yeah, this is this is nice, dude. I kind of want this. I kind of want this. Uh, all right, enough playing around, man. Anyway, Swamp Boys Garage, link down below. Go check them out. Now let's move on to the police car. Yep, it's police car time, and this is one I'm extremely interested in, and and I'm very likely going to bid on this one. This has all of its lights, light bar up top. It's got the lights in the grill. It's a hail damage car. I don't care. It's a cop car. I don't care. I don't care. You still got your light here. It's got under 100,000 miles. Says it doesn't run. That's, that's hard to believe unless it had been retired previously due to mechanical damage and the hailstorm came in and they, they totaled it over the hail when in reality it had mechanical damage to begin with. You got all of your lights up here. You got your lights down here. Deputy Sheriff, one window broken out. Not a big deal. Tires, ooh, definitely gonna need some tires. She took a, she took a beating. I mean, this thing took a, this took a real beating. What do we got in here? We got ice bomb. All right, still got the camera one of the cameras anyway you still got your laptop cage and everything here you got your gun cages i almost said cage cages your speakers you still got your sirens and your lights and everything down there the controller for all that is there wow okay digital camera huh <laughs> oh there's another one I didn't see there's another one right in front of it unfortunately they took all the the wires have been cut and everything for the lights so this one has had everything taken apart on it this one however this is still intact this is uh, you can't get in the back let's hope that it has a key it does it does have a key this is going to run guys this is going to run it probably got a dead battery but this will run yeah, dead as a doornail. Oh, it's got the lights up here too? Oh, dude. <laughs> this is a Martel DC3 digital camera. It's like got a little mount right there as well. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. So there's all your, your sounds. Woo, 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 and all that. These, I think, are just your lights. And then these would be lights as well. Take down, I, I can't remember for sure. But I'm pretty sure these are lights... These are the noises, and that, I think those are, are different patterns for your lights as well, although I honestly can't remember for sure. What we're gonna do right now is pop the hood. Ow, ooh, something, something very sharp under there. Let's pop the hood. Let's put a jump on her and see if we can get her to run. And uh, let's see if we can play with the lights and, and uh, make a little make a little noise with it as well 
I'm excited for this one. It's been a while since I've had a cop car uh, that had the lights and sirens. That's, that's rare. That is really, really rare to get your hands on something like this. So I want to. I want to really, 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 really bad. Like I want this, want this real bad. All right, clip on there. Boy, it's a, that's a tough sucker to get onto right there, guys. Wow. Ugh, get on there. There we go. Let's take this off. Hook this up. And let's give her the juice. Override. Let's hope she actually runs. Oop. Oh, it's doing stuff. It's doing stuff. Ding, ding. First, can we unlock the door here? Oh, hell. Let's turn that off before we get... At least they had good taste in music. There we go. This is all... <laughs> you got to get back here. You got to get back here. Woo! Woo! Brings back memories. Anyway, anyway. Let's see what we got going on back here as well. Bunch of broken glass. That's it. Oh, I want this. I really, really want this. I wonder what this would go for. The body is trashed, but dang it, it's still super cool. V8. It runs. I knew it. I knew it. Tell me the lights work. I don't know. I don't know. Oh no. No. None of this works. Ah. Uh, come on. Oh wow. Well that might be why. Yeah there's. Lots of wires that have been cut down in there. Okay, well, that sucks. Someone went in there and just kind of ripped everything out. Yep, well, it's, it's still got it all. So, I mean, technically, you could get in there and wire it all back up. Yeah, this uh, there's nothing on here. No power at all. So, that blows. We've also got an alternator light. I'm going to guess when somebody was tearing stuff apart, they left something disconnected. She runs good, though. Let's see if I can back this up just a hair so I can give me a little more room. There we go. Give me a little more room up front. We can look under the hood, see what we can see. Ugh, breaker, breaker. Man. I miss mine. I really do. Keep trying to look down in there, see if I can see anything obvious. Maybe it's just a blown fuse or something. Yeah, I was really hoping to get that thumbnail, man. That's what I wanted. I wanted the thumbnail. Yeah, important window works. Air conditioning is on and it's working very, very well. Steering feels good. Brakes feel good. Just needs a couple tires. Obviously, the body's in pretty rough shape. I wonder where that alternator light is on though. Let's see if it's charging under here. Oh, this one doesn't tell you. This one doesn't tell you if it's chart. Oh, well that answered that for us. It's obvious, it's obviously not charging. Yeah, this booster pack is a little different. It's weird, I'm not sure I like it. Uh, this is their new and improved NOCO GB, uh, what is it? GBX 155, more powerful, a little bit more durable. Um, and the clamps are better. Unfortunately, I really miss having that readout that tells you if your vehicle's charging and what voltage it's charging. And I really do miss that. That was an important feature that was not included on this one. Well, it runs. I'm sure it drives. There's something going on under here. Either the alternator's bad or something has been disconnected and we'd have to figure that out. There's a, there's a breaker right here as well. 100 amp terminal circuit breaker. Ah, hold on, this was cut. That breaker was cut. And that goes straight into the cab of the vehicle. Someone had hit that breaker probably to disconnect all the stuff that's that's uh, being that they were trying to disconnect or they had intended to disconnect under the hood here. 
Um, hold on, hold on. I'm not giving up just yet. We might be onto something here. All right, let's reconnect this. Let's give her the juice again. Uh huh. I'll bet the alternator comes back to life now. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. The alternator is back. So it was someone to cut the circuit breaker. Ha ha. Oh, dude, it's on now. Siren doesn't work. Oh, dude, <laughs> it is on. It is on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's the thumbnail I was looking for. Right here. Oh, man. She's still trying to die. <sighs> you need to come home with me, my friend. You do. Oh, you got the lights down here, too? If we turn this off, it should stay running now. And it does. Either that or somebody was sneaking, they came out here and cut that circuit breaker. Again, trying to make you think things don't work so that they could try to get this cheaper. Can't say I 100% blame them. You know, this is a cool toy and everybody wants one, but again, guys, keep it fair. Keep it fair. Quit trying to, quit trying to fool around with stuff out here and screw people over. Look at this. Oh my God. What do you think, guys? Is this the one? Should we bring this home? I think we should. I'm going to bid on it. For sure. Well, that's going to be it for this Copart walk around, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and let me know. Drop those comments down below. Tell me what you think of the police car. We should bring that home, right? I really feel like we should bring that home. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best. Don't forget... Also, go check out Swamp Boys Garage. Direct link. First link down below in the description. Go check those guys out, man. You're going to be glad that you did. They got some really good content going on over there. Stay safe out there, everyone. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.